Arlene rushed up, her feet pounding along the boards of the deck as she yelled obscenities back at him, getting in his face. She wasn't afraid of this asshole. If he hit her, A.J. would deck him but good. She had her cell phone out ready to press 911. But when she looked into the water, Margot was nowhere to be seen. Tossing her cell phone on shore, she dove in. She found Margot in ten feet of water not moving. She was unconscious. Having always been a strong swimmer, Arlene managed to pull her friend out of the water onto the shore and perform CPR, but couldn't revive her. She screamed at Corbin to call 911, cursing at him for not having done something to help her out of the water himself. By this time, A.J. rushed up and he began helping her with CPR, alternating when one became tired of breathing for Margot. The paramedics arrived within ten minutes of the call, but they couldn't revive Margot. She was dead. They'd said she had drowned. The sheriff's police had arrived shortly after, and Arlene told them exactly what had happened, telling him that Margot wouldn't even have been in the water had Corbin not hit her so hard. He denied it, of course. The matter was his word against hers. In the excitement, she'd forgotten about the camera and her evidence. Arlene's eyes filled with tears as they put Margot into the ambulance. The police took Corbin in for questioning, mainly because Arlene had pointed to one of the bruises on Margot's arm, and the paramedics did find some discoloration on her face as well. A.J. was consoling, but they had to get home. The sheriff assured them Margot's parents would be called. She told the sheriff over and over she saw Corbin hit Margot. She had testified to it. They were returning to the cabin when she stumbled onto the white camera in the pine needles. She wasn't sure if the pictures would turn out or if what she had taken were good enough for a court of law. She was so angry over what had happened. She wanted Corbin to pay dearly. A plan was hatching. On the way home, she had begun to think about it. Everything was clearer the closer they got to Iowa and crossed the Mississippi and what she could do to get even with the son of a bitch. She wasn't ready to share the pictures with the police. Not yet. They were much more valuable to her and what she would gain than to give them to the police.